Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. This is America's Love Queen, Silvia Chavez from San Diego, California. And we're going live. We're live in three platforms. We're going live in YouTube, in our channel, The Queen Show. We're live in my personal profile. And we're live in, I think it's my professional profile. As you can see, I'm not the best in tech, but you know, that's not the important thing. The most important part is that today we're going to talk about our mother earth, our Pachamama. And this is the second uh, episode that we're going to have live for the Love Queen. The first one was just the launching. Then you saw some recordings. And from now on, we're going to have a lot of lives. So please, Uh, when you hear this, when you see, if you see this live, please hashtag live in the comments. If you see this, uh, the replay, hashtag replay. And whatever question you have, don't worry about it. If you catch the replay, you can ask the question as after because you're going to get an answer. And anything else that you want to share with us, you want to know, we're here to serve you. And, you know, just comment below and share the news because we really need to do something about our mother earth. So today I have the honor of having Sandra. She's from Peru and she lives in the Amazonia of Peru. Oh my God, I, I, I can't wait to go and visit her over there. So I'm gonna tell you about her. Who is Sandra? Sandra is a human of planet earth. She's living in the Amazon rainforest of Peru. She loves life in every form and feels connected to nature and a higher purpose since she was young. Feeling the pain in our world, she majored in the science of life and embarked herself in a journey of knowledge and self-discovery through nature, reaching out to the humans to deeply understand why and how our species arrived to these societies we are today. And since the past 12 years, she works to help and save wildlife, preserve the rainforest, aid local communities, and to bring people from all over the world to experience nature and reconnect with themselves through the Amazon planet experience. She's gonna tell us all about that. So on her journey, she opens her consciousness to uh, her needs to reconnect with each other in our planet, to heal her inner self first so she can help heal others. Did you hear that, right? Talking the word heal, healing. And the nature of the Amazon is the portal for a spiritual awakening to empower your life towards your greatest purpose for yourself, other people, and our planet together. So, so far, now this is all I'm going to say about her because I want her to share more. And so without further ado, I'm going to invite my friend, an amazing person, Sandra to the stay. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, everyone. It's amazing to be here. I'm so honored to be with you. Yeah, we're yeah. honored to have you. Yes, we're so honored to have you. Uh, we met at a um, virtual workshop, and I was uh, completely attracted to her energy and her love for the planet. And uh, she's, how can I explain this? She's so natural. And I love natural people. I'm sure you do love natural people that is here for a reason. So what's your reason? Why? Why this? My why? My why um, is uh, because why I am, I am because I want to uh, connect as humans uh, with who we really are. I think we have forgotten as, as individuals that we are part of, of, of a, a whole, not only as one species together, and no matter the, our race, no matter our country of, of, of origin, our, our religion, we are all interconnected and we are part of this planet. And I think humans, we kind of have uh, divided ourselves or separated ourselves from other life beings. And that has kind of uh, created a disconnection that spiritually keeps us uh, um, asleep uh, and that doesn't allow us to really uh, fulfill our, our 
bigger purpose because I do believe that everybody has a bigger purpose in life. Uh, and I have seen so many suffering of humans and non-human species uh, that I, I am here to um, help people open their eyes and awaken their spirit and awaken their, their souls to, to their, their inner love, love themselves. I actually have a little heart here that I got from the Andes of, of Peru is energized with the power of the mount, mountains and the Pachamama, the mother earth. And I do believe that through our hearts and through love and reconnecting based on that, we can be coherent and actually move and shift our societies into a more uh, uh, giving, forgiving, loving, and uh, a better future with a well-being that involves everybody, not only our, our well-being, but also other people and other species. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I love when you talk just um, a few minutes away about separation, because we have this fantasy that we are separated from each other, right? We are, I am myself and you are there. And mm -hmm. over there is uh, another country, Peru, and here is the United States. And the ocean is over there because I live on earth. So that doesn't belong to me. That's not me. But that's, um, that's a, a, such a huge lie that we tell ourselves. And also it's been sold all the time, you know, for years. Because we now know that every time we throw our garbage in the waters, we are kind of making our planet last less time, you know? And when we think about, okay, that's another country and I can throw everything in there, somehow that's gonna come back to us, right? What, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I, I, I think that the best example is what we have all experienced in 2020 with COVID. Um, I mean, what a bigger or greatest um, shock for humans uh, this virus has been because it's it's touched, it is touching and it has touched every single country, every single human being on earth, which proves that we are all one, you know. And uh, I know we may, as humans, uh, our our way of thinking, our opinions, how we want to live things, it, it is not the same because definitely we all are individuals with unique abilities and unique. Uh, uh, possibilities uh, but we need to understand that uh, nobody is is just one no we are one as, as a whole but we are not individuals that can thrive on their own we not only need other humans but we also need to connect with the other species in the planet no we I think we don't realize that just take a deep breath you know wherever you are do you know where that air comes from? Do you know how is it possible for us to breathe clean air if you happen to be outside a big city? <laughs> no, uh, it is connected to, to, to the trees, for example. No, in my case, the rainforest being, as we always say, the lungs of the planet, not only the lungs of the planet, it's part of the water cycle. We are used to having water, if, if we are lucky to be in a country, in a city, or in a, and in a social economical level that you have commodities or you have uh, um, uh, the basic taken care of, not people are used to open their taps and having water. But do we think, do we understand, do we know where their water is coming from? No, do, do we understand that earth is, it, it is what gives us what we are, are have right now and due to humans being able to amazingly develop technology and create out of nothing, kind of, <laughs> not out of nothing, because it's based on, on materials that ha come from Earth, because even the me metals that we use for our technology comes from Earth. You know? uh, we, we believe that we are separate from the natural world, because cities kind of have taken the nature outside. But we are we all still live on the surface of the planet, which is the biosphere, which is nature. And we wouldn't be able to breathe, have water, have food if it wasn't for a planet. And humans are not realizing this because when people say, I always tend to, to comment on people when they say we need to save Earth or needs Earth needs to be saved. And it's not like something from like 
is over there. Earth is over there. Right, right. <laughs> but, uh, actually, Earth doesn't need to be saved at all. Earth is the most resilient, powerful uh, life entity because it is. There is a whole theory of Gaia being a life force. You know, but it's an amazing planet. Uh, we our, our little technology has not yet discovered any other planet that has life the way Earth has. So we are an amazing uh, planet uh, in our solar system, at least. Who knows on other solar systems? But yet, our limited technology has has not found any uh, life form similar or whatever. Oh, but um, wh what I was trying to say is that the ones who need to be aware that they need to be safe is our own is humans because the ones who are being are, are affected and and every year that passes every decade it's worse if we don't start searching and developing the already te te technology and, and non-technological uh, solutions that exist to be more sustainable and actually uh, uh, act as the truth that we are, which is we are inside this layer of life that we depend on and we can't be trashing, trashing it, overusing it, uh, not thinking about the, the, the future for our generations to come and just over consume, overuse, over pollute. No, because it, it is not happening in your little circle. Oh, Absolutely. What we do in our home, in our home, in our city, in our country, has an effect in other parts of the world, and it will come back to bite us in the. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're seeing it already. No COVID. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of conspiracy th theories. You no, know, that is man-made, human-made, or, or that people have been involved. I mean, I, I, we're not going to go into that because that's a whole other issue. No, but uh, the fact is that a virus is, is it, it is a it, it is a non living thing until it comes into a body, your body into a host. But it is something that uh, nature or human kind of helped way, whatever, whichever it is, it is affected every single human in every single country. And if, if that doesn't wake us up to realize we are one, and that things like this are gonna start happening more and more due to the uh, break that we've made to nature right uh, it is it is really worrisome that we we are not open our eyes already i think it's time to to reconnect with mother earth to reconnect with ourselves as humans so i think this this being in in, the, in our homes through a screen kind of not detached us but i think a lot of people have actually been able to reconnect a lot more and think what's going on in their lives and what do they really want what why did this happen you know and sometimes from adversity and and things and bad things happening is when we can thrive better not only as communities in the different countries but actually as one species which is what uh, uh, the message that i want to spread to people and connect i'm already connecting with amazing people that are on this journey you are one of them as well and it is important for us to to Add, add the force to help others heal their hearts, awaken their spirit, reconnect with human and empathy for other humans and for our other species and our planet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The thing that I, I, I learned is that I was listening to you and suddenly you close your eyes and, and, and you were feeling it, right? And how important it is to realize that if, if you all, all the audience um, can just close your eyes for a second and imagine that everything that you see around, the, the ocean, um, the sky, the other person, your mother, your sister, your wife, your husband, your kids, everything is you. So you're part of it, the whole. So when you look at the oceans, you are the oceans. When you look at the sky, you are the sky. You are the birds. You are everything. Because this whole planet was created for you. For you. Every single animal was created for us. Because, you know, we are supposed to be the intelligent ones. And, and really protect home. This is like your home, you know. You say, I'm going to protect my family. Nobody's going to hurt my kids. Well, this is home. 
Mother Earth is your mother, is everyone's mother. So I, I remember, and I think I, I shared with you on 1999, this is 21 years ago, I went to Machu Picchu and I did the Inca Trail. And mm. it was so beautiful because I really connected with Mother Earth. And I remember we used to meditate a lot. It might sign woo-woo for some of you, but this is how I felt. I know that not for you, Sandra, but for some people that can be hearing this. But I remember being um, sitting down on a rock and closing my eyes and actually feeling the heart of Mother Earth, you know, uh, pumping into my, my, my chest. I, I could feel that we were connected because Mother Earth is alive. Everything that we see around has life. Everything is alive. And it's, it's giving us food. It's giving us air. It's giving us water. We couldn't live without all that. So how could we be destroying our means to be alive? So this is your area of expertise and also you're a scientist. What are the tips that you can give regular people like me? So what we can do on a daily basis to, to help planet Earth and, and to help our, our home, you know? Yes, yes. Well, definitely starts with, with yourself. You know, in order for you, something that sometimes we don't realize that in order for you to to do good and be good, you first need to feel good and, and be good with yourself. So um, we tend to people that, that have a, a good heart, you know, in the in the sense of wanting to help not only uh, Mother Earth but other humans. They 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 don't realize that uh, sometimes we don't are we're not uh, well inside our problems, our, our past, our traumas are, are bringing us down and, and we're actually not able to shine. So for, for me, starting is to, to heal our hearts and reconnect with ourselves. Loving yourself is so important. This took me, uh, and I want to totally open, uh, I've suffered many years of lack of self-love and that actually didn't allow me to, to, to evolve to, to my biggest potential and i think this is something that maybe a lot of people relate you know you bring yourself down because you're not enough and all of this type of things if you do something wrong you blame yourself you know so uh stop stop because we are all humans and we are alive and part of life is, is making mistakes and learning from our mistakes so connecting with your heart uh for me going to nature just something it might sound silly, but if you are in the countryside, even better. But if you're in the city, go find a tree. Go find a tree. Go near the tree. See the leaves, the wind going through the leaves. Breathe the air that the uh, the, that the tree give give you, and 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 connect with 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 the energy because we are all energy. Because we can touch things. No m matter is actually condensed energy. We're made of atoms. Atoms are just uh, this this nucleus. Uh, and this uh, 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 electrons going around them with space void in them, and we're made of that. It, it, it doesn't. It's not. You know, something that sometimes we don't realize. But everything is made of atoms. Everything is energy. That is why we are all interconnected in the metaphysical realm. And for us to to just uh, limit ourselves to what we can see with our simple eyes, or we can hear with our with our with our ears. Uh, it, it is actually not allowing us to go deeper into ourselves and to and to into connecting with others. So uh, I would start with that. And there are many options. You can go just take a trip outside your your city, go into a nice countryside, into the forest if you have the river, you know, if you have the ocean, and just feel feel the energy of the sun. Waking up every morning is a really amazing thing as well, and having the sun early in the morning shine to you just breathe and it's hard to not have your mind come with ideas and things but try every time a, a thought passes just let it pass and then feel the what's around you and say thank you and say i love myself if you start talking good to you you'll be okay i don't know if you've had have you seen these experiments that a lot of people are doing but I saw this one that was really amazing. This woman had a, a, a two apples. One apple, every day she would, 
to talk to her in a bad way. You're awful. You're ugly. I hate you. And this other apple, she started talking to the apple. You're beautiful. I love you. You're amazing. They're sending love energy through their through her words, and the other one bad energy through her words. After a week, the the, the apple that got the the bad the the bad mouthing, you know, mm -hmm. and hits so with with the, with the words, uh, it rot it was rotten after a month after a week. Sorry, but the other one was still green and and, and perfect, you know. So uh, imagine if, if that happens to an apple and look it on youtube it's there and there are many other experiments that connect us if, if our voice our words can uh, the intention of our words can do that to an apple imagine how it how what it does to other people and to you when you say i'm not good enough oh i'm not going to be able to do this no so start believing in yourself and then it goes to the next part uh feel the heart of the other people and of our planet we are part of and little things at home there are many tips you know that you can do to to make a difference turning off your light you no know, buying buying less things that you so you can or see what is the most responsible consumption way you no know, in, in little things at home you no know, and now internet is it, it it's become limitless for us how we can learn new things youtube can teach you many things as well it's crazy there's nothing that we can't learn anymore and when in regards to the planet, it's um, finding places that are truly helping. Uh, in my case, I'm going to obviously talk about my place. Of not my course, place. please do. But Let us in, know more about that. And uh, uh, we, if, you, if you're interested in besides your home locally, making a difference and as well, helping towards uh the, the places that need to be preserved like the amazon rainforest no uh we in in my case personally amazon planet uh it's it's an eco lodge in the middle of the rainforest where you can come come and not only uh experience the amazing nature and the wild of the amazon rainforest don't think about the 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 movie uh the movie Anaconda. Don't think about the movie Piranha. <laughs> no, that's not the Amazon rainforest. Hollywood had made us has made us believe that it's a scary, terrifying, terrifying place where nobody can go or that you're gonna lost get lost. No, actually, the the, the nature there's not nothing more revitalizing, not nothing more energetically healing, you no, know, than coming to a place like the rainforest or our we are surrounded by trees that have 500 years old their energy is amazing uh you feel alive connected with this diversity of living things around you the smell of the purest air ever it's oh, so refreshing the sounds that you immerse to when you're during the day and at night the sky as well i mean it is an amazing place where you can come as a group with your family with friends you know and and reconnect with each other oh uh, in this amazing place reconnect with your hearts and with nature oh you know? and mm -hmm. amazon planet is also connected to uh mm -hmm. an organization that for 21 years has been working towards conservation of the rainforest and of wildlife this is Tarikaya eco reserve oh uh it's um a reserve uh, working to rescue wildlife, uh, many animals. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but um, wildlife trafficking is the fourth uh, black market uh, business that is more profitable. Um, many animals are, are are hunted, taken away from their home to be put in cages to be used for human pleasure and uh many of them that survive this come to places like tarikaya where the animals uh, uh go into a process of rehabilitation and uh to give them back their abilities to be able to return to their home which is the free nature um we we have rescued many many animals and actually recovered a uh, species. There was one uh, species of monkey that was locally extinct due to hunting. And now this species is back in the forest 
thanks to the effort of amazing people, not biologists, veterinarians, and also volunteers. Caricaya also offers the option for coming to the Amazon to hands-on help towards the conservation of the area. We are connected with other organizations locally, you know, and in Madre de Dios, which is the region we are in Peru, we are definitely making a difference towards preserving the rainforest, but we need your help. We need the help of every human being, especially now because of COVID. It's been a, a big hit. People can come right now. I know traveling to the Amazon, traveling to anywhere right now, it's kind of impossible. Uh, so we will definitely have to wait, but this has caused us to not uh, be able to, to receive what uh, the support that we get from the people that come and hands on work with us as volunteers, uh, uh, travelers that come and stay and meet the, the project and help through their visit. Uh, and now it is, it is a project that cannot stop because it is making a real difference to avoid the destruction of the rainforest in this part of, of, of Peru. Yeah. And I, I yeah, that I really, really um, hope that. Uh, people that need me right now are encouraged to visit these places that, that Sylvia is amazingly sharing with you because uh, the, the Amazon rainforest really needs our help. And, and there are so many ways you don't you don't need to come right now, but there are so many ways that we can definitely connect to help. It. Yeah, absolutely. And here is on the on the screen, the website where you can go and check is Tarikaya Eco Reserve dot org and and check it up. And, you know, even though right now we are in a global COVID situation, um, there's nothing impossible. So if you feel in your heart that this is your call, this is the moment to step up and, you know, and, sh and be part of the story, right? Be part of the stories when you rescue animals um, that maybe are going to be extinct if you don't do that. And leave you. Oh, okay. Leave your legacy in the world. Something happened with the uh, internet. So tarikayaecosreserve.org. Please check that up and do your part. Yeah, it, because this is your, your place, your home. So how are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Are you there? Yes, can you hear me? I think we're having trouble with the connection. Oh. I oh, can Sandra. hear you. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. So, Sandra, so how will this? How did all start for you? How old were you when you first felt that call? And what was the um, the uh, the thing or the moment or the the experience that when you say, "Yeah, this is what I want," because that's a huge step. I mean, uh, you're a woman. What makes you super powerful? Absolutely. And living in, in, in the rainforest, of course, we all, always will think about the anaconda and all that. Thank you, Disney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? But taking that step and to changing the world and to impacting um, the planet in that way, that's, that's super powerful. So how did it all start? Well, I, 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 uh, something that happened to me that I cannot remember uh, when I was very, when I was little, I was probably six or seven years old. Um, I was with a, my, um, I was staying uh, for the day to play with a, a friend from school, and uh, there was a spider, a spider that was not really close to us, but uh, she was uh, on, she was uh, back to the wall, and I saw the spider, and I just uh, uh, saw it and decided to kill the spider. And right at that moment that I just said, oh, spider, die. Right at that moment, my dad came in and, and he, he, he made this uh, comment to me and said, Sandra, why did you need to kill the spider? Was it hurting you? Was it doing anything to you? And I was, and I, at that, at that moment, I just realized that, I mean, yeah, why? Why did I need to do that? And I don't know that that little thing for me kind of shift my 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 conception and, and my uh, worldview of, of what life means and and the power that we have to to create and to take out someone's life that 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 is a someone 
that is not a something. The, the spider is a someone. It's, a, it, it's, a, it's an individual of, of another species that is alive and deserves to be here. I'm not saying that obviously I have a kid, a 10 year old, uh, when it came to, to protect him, I'm definitely gonna have to take the life of any possible animal, especially insect that might harm my, my kid. But that, I guess, helped me to, plus going, my dad would take us out to, to into nature uh, and to visit like uh, uh, domestic animals and animals from farms and things like that. And and I was always connected to, to animals and, and also uh, uh, plants. He always would talk to me about uh, nature. Uh, I grew up with National Geographic magazines and all loved to read them like crazy. And, when it came time to 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 decide what I wanted to do with my life, I said I, I, I really want to know everything about life, everything. So that's why I decided to become a biologist. And since since I started studying my career, I just read, read, learned, lived, experienced. And uh, I, I remember finishing university, and there was a big big opportunities in the mining and and uh, petrol company to do environmental studies. But uh, I had heard these stories, at least for Peru, unfortunately, we are not the best ones to preserve as, as, as and, and companies need to. Government should be a lot more strict, not to companies. Uh, but I heard all these stories about uh, uh, manipulation of information and not really complying with environmental wow. and ecological rules. And I said, oh, my God, I'm, do I really want to go into that and, 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 you know, be part of this? And said, no, I mean, I, I know I have a, a bigger, bigger thing or that I, I need to go and help the, the ones that need to be saved. And that's where, where I, I found I applied for a job in, 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 in the Amazon and moved here 12 years ago to this rescue center, this other rescue center that that it's called Amazon Shelter. Amazonshelter.org. Please also check it out. It's 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 uh, uh, we are working together with them. You know, it's 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 a, a a common effort to preserve wildlife. Oh, but each each institution needs help definitely. And uh, and yeah, I just I just got hands on in helping wildlife, working with local communities. You know, there's native communities and 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 culinary communities that really depend on the rainforest, but they have no support from the government or, or, or options to, to have a really good life means through nature. And, and they, the only option for them is just chop the forest. And, and that's not sustainable. So by helping them to find more sustainable solutions, to reconnect also with the forest and see that just taking out without giving back is not, it's not a, a, a a sustainable thing to do. That's something that as humans, we all have to realize, yep. you know, <clears throat> taking, 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 and not putting back. It's eventually, I mean, there's, it's not infinite, the resources that earth has for us, you know? So even though as our technology is able to create so many things out of the blue, you know, we still have, we still are on earth and we still need the na natural resources to survive. And that, that's going to be a, a, something that we're never going to get rid of, even though we end up having robots working for us. <laughs> no, absolutely. If we if we don't have the earth, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The robots, they're going to be the only ones alive, right? So I, I'm, I'm listening to you and going back to what you said before. Um, it's so important what you said, right? If I want to heal the planet first, heal yourself, heal your heart connect to your heart. How important is, again, to realize that when you heal yourself, everything you see, and I always say, when you see through the eyes of love, right? You see with the eyes of love yourself, you see with the eyes of love your brother, your sisters, you see with the eyes of love your oceans, your trees, nature, animals, your mother earth. And again, your mother earth. I know you have your mom, you have your pup, but Mother Earth involves everyone, every single one of us. If we don't have Mother Earth, we don't have oxygen, we're dead. I mean, there's no other way. And also when you talk about how your father taught you, you know, why are you going to kill the spider? 
It's not hurting you, of course. If you know a, an alligator is coming and it's trying to eat your kid, well, you're gonna have to act. But that doesn't exactly. mean this is a survival thing. Exactly. But killing a spider, or how many times we um, we do things too much when you don't need that. I remember reading this book long, long ago. It's Voices of the Desert. And this um, this tribe would go into the desert and because they needed to feed themselves. They would kill the oldest animal on the on the group. So they found this group of some some kind of animal and they would kill the oldest one. And when they would kill them, they will thank Mother Earth, thank the spirit of that animal, and then they will eat it out of survival. So now you know we, we throw so much. We don't appreciate what we have because it's the same now with the COVID. Now we can appreciate our freedom because we don't have it. We have to go out and put on our mask and we look at each other and we are afraid to touch each other because, oh my God, I'm going to get the COVID. So what it means that what we have right now can be taken away like that in one second, right? And what happened in China because the first, the virus started on China, I guess, you know, there's so many, like you said, theories. It was, it's here, it's everywhere. It's in Argentina, it's in Peru, it's in everywhere. So we are all together. We are all connected. So I love that about how something else that I feel that is about how can we teach our next generation how to be respectful and how to love and appreciate the things that we have. Because, you know, I feel that we as humanity need to learn something out of this 2020. And it's not about going back to the old selfish way. It's about realizing that we are all one. We are all one. And I invite you for real to try and work really hard to connect yourself with Mother Earth. I can assure you and I can guarantee you that you're going to feel her. And I say her. Because Mother Earth is a woman. <laughs> it's a female. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or, or it has both, both sexes, right? Because it's a mother. It's holding us out. It, it, it's giving us birth. Because we're coming from Mother Earth. We're coming from mom, right? But it's coming from Mother Earth. So I like to talk about, uh, because we talk a little about the uh, feminine energy of, of Mother Earth. And I had that feeling, right? When I felt it, I felt that it was like a, like a womb, right? Like I was inside of my mom's womb. Mm -hmm. And it felt, me as an adult, I am inside of her womb, you know? So um, how can we connect from, uh, with that uh, energy and realize that even if you're a man or a woman, you can have this power that is in the um, um, feminine energy that comes from from the Pachamama? Yeah, um, well, I, I definitely feel what you what you said. I also have this, uh, I've been I've been not only here, here in the Amazon rainforest, when I go deep into the forest to walk, I, I, I have this uh, trees that I connect with. Uh, in Spanish, it's called La Lupuna. You know, and this, the cape of tree, it's a, a seba tree um, in in the in the area of, of Amazon planet and Tarikaya. There are these there are huge trees, you know, that they are like 45 or 50 meters tall, and uh, it, it's they have 300 to 500 years old. They've been here for a long time, and uh, in the case of the, la, la la lupuna, la is is, is the uh, is article, but it's a female article for Spanish. Um, it, it is actually the, uh, it, it represents fertility. It represents uh, the power of, of, of life. You know that we women have, and and we are the, the, the we are the power of life. We you know the ones that bring life uh, uh, to to outside grows in us, and and we bring it out. You know, and uh, and it's a portal also. It's considered by the Amazon um, um, Cosmovision, the, the indigenous communities here, is considered a portal to the spiritual realm where you can connect with this uh, uh, 
um, the femini femininity and energy of the tree, and you can actually reconnect with your spirit through it. Oh, and in the Andes as well, I've had the experience of, of being in the mountains, you know, and, and feeling the energy and, and usually like feel the, the, the soil, the ground, and, and it's definitely a, a powerful force that comes through you. Many people, I don't know, if it, the, the ones who are listening, uh, have had the, the, the experience or, or, or are used to doing meditations and connecting with their hearts and connecting with the energy around them. Uh, if you don't do this, I, I really recommend to start finding the, the best way for you to leave your mind behind and be present with you and the energy of, that surrounds you and with your heart. And you'll feel this, as Sylvia says, you'll feel the energy of Earth and as women, now we're talking and sharing. Um, I'm not picking out any men, obviously, but I do believe that women, we have an amazing force that together we can help humans and men, including, you know, to, to connect with their femininity. That's something that we have, it's been taboo, kind of, not to consider that a man, feminine man, it's, this is the whole, you know, problem for some people but actually we all have a, a, a feminine and, and, and masculine um, energy inside us and we should embrace and must embrace both energies and now uh, especially the feminine energy that every single human has is the one that we must embrace because this is the one that is connecting with the concept of caring of, of protecting and it's the time for us to start not only protecting the, the, the close people to us, but also helping to protect by our, our intention to start and by our actions, helping and protecting other people, other species on our planet. Because uh, as, as Sylvia said, I mean, no air, no, no, no soil. No, it, it means that we will not be here anymore. And we have lived we live the concept of abundance and mass production that's because there is the, the profit uh, uh that that it, it is disconnected from nature uh everybody wants to make money everybody needs money for their needs and for their pleasure oh but there are ways you know to actually make money and and also care for other people and care for the planet Simple things when you, you 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 think about your as, as a mother as a woman and as a father as well. When you think about your children, you no, know, will you feed your children something that is going to hurt them? No. So, or will you will you take them to a place that you know it's, it's gonna it, it's bad for them? No, right. Mm -hmm. That's the same way. Thinking the other way when I buy uh, buy a, a, a new purse or buy a new a new food. Do we know where it comes from? Do we know if it hurts or has or, or has destroyed an area in the planet? Do we know if it maybe I, I'm gonna throw it out there? Do we know if it, if even it, it's made by children? You know, sometimes we don't think where things come from, and if we are also affecting with our actions other people. You know, there's people that make minimum wage. You know, for uh, for you to get your amazing whatever you have at your home and the company that sold you is the one making the money and there's a, actually a family that's starving because they make minimum wage for it right you know? so uh, when, when we think about our our our, our, our well-being it, it is important to also think about the well-being of, of everyone around us and how our actions have a deep impact on other humans and on planet earth yeah absolutely yeah. and i do believe that you, everyone, have the power to stop many things. Like, if we want to stop with the uh, consumption of, of animals that are in extinction, we got to do something about it. If we stop buying those animals, you know, nobody's going to sell them. If you stop consuming things that are hurting the planet, then, you know, there's not going to be a sales point. And there is a saying, I can't re recall exactly the words, and I only remember that in Spanish that it's when all the rivers are dry and 
there's no more all the animals are dead and there's no more I, I don't you know I, I, no I, can more tell, I can tell it I can I actually use I actually have it oh, okay, the okay. Body. Share, share. Have little, it's only when the last tree has been cut down only when, when the last river has been poisoned only when the last only when the last fish has been caught only when the last river has been poisoned only then will humans know that money cannot be eaten that is so powerful because you know pretty soon even even now you know money is just a commodity we don't even see the money we, everything mm -hmm. most things are electronic so we realize now we we're, we're having the um the um, uh, e money and so we truly who are we what is really our home what are we here for what's our purpose in this in this world what's our mission and like you said before you know loving yourself is the first step and then taking everything you do out of love is going to help the planet so if you yeah. think that when you're gonna um, buy water on the supermarket instead of buying the one the single bottles you you buy the big one and or you i don't know you have a a, a connection to your 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 water supply that has a filter or things like that that are small changes that's when you're you're coming out of love and you're actually changing the present and the future not just for you but for the next generations your yeah. kids your grandkids and everyone so you know there's so many small things that we can do and of course that the biggest companies need so much to change but also when you vote and i'm not saying to vote for anybody specific but when you vote when you express your opinion as when you really have to express what's better for the planet and what's better for the planet is better for you and your family because yes, you and, know and, yes and and, and uh, there is this concept that the companies decide what, how things go but it's actually it's on us on us you decide as a consumer what you really want to buy no, and yeah. not get get uh, get uh, in into the bad habit of just following the masses or following the the the, the status quo that is actually not working anymore. Because I mean, it definitely, it's not working. Economy without including uh, ecology and social uh, um, points, it's not gonna work. It is eventually gonna collapse because it is a tripod the economical, ecological, and social development. It, it has to be a, a, a triangle that it's, it's, uh, has equilibrium and each part has to help each other. You know, yeah. business, business have to have, we are starting, there are many business, many entrepreneurs that are working towards developing conscious, responsible, uh, green, socially correct, businesses and those are the ones that i am pretty sure and a hundred percent that if you follow the path of, of a bigger purpose not not thinking about i, I want to make money for me i think i right. want to make money for me to help also other that also helps other find collaboration alternatives you no know, and develop industries develop technology develop processes that reduce the impact on earth and, and and give back to mother earth those are the um, businesses that in the next 20 years will be on the lead you know of the market because nowadays more and more people are becoming conscious and they don't want to buy to the one that is killing the, the rainforests uh, or, or you know, the orangutans so they can put palm oil you know and, and there's so, so many things that you know, that we, we we are starting to see in the tendency of consumers no, um, it's not a massive thing yet, but it will be because uh, our, our, our planet, it, it will go back. But our species is the one that's going to suffer if we keep this way of acting. No? And, uh, and yeah, for me, developing conscious businesses is the way to go. I, I, I would love to, to share with you. Uh, I, well, I have uh, this uh, page that I, uh, if you can help me share with everybody, then my Sandra.AmazonPlanetPeru. Please uh, go in, read a little bit about the, the, the white sheet I have there for you that can help you 
find ways to reconnect with yourself and 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 i uh, have um collaborate collaborated with uh some i still have i still my purpose is to uh, collaborate with as many people as possible that are making a difference you no know? right. and, and and there you will see uh, a few people that i i i encourage you to to check out you no know, uh, and check what they're doing it will help you to heal your heart it will help you to empower yourself and your business and it and actually also give you alternatives you no know, to uh, reduce your impact in your life and in your business as well right you know? and i believe that it is the time for humans to reconnect to collaborate and help each other i can for i have this concept of the four win by four um uh, well-being and will win by four success is i win if i do something i have to do it thinking that i i win you win the one i'm doing you know, the the connection with others win with that connection and the planet wins with that connection if we all start thinking about our actions the the job that we ha that we go into or if we decide to be entrepreneurs or encourage people to find their purpose in life and be yeah go don't be afraid fear no lo love uh, the opposite of love is not hate it's fear we are afraid of loving ourselves and we're afraid to go out there and, and and be our best let's not be afraid i know there are many things but start with you healing you and 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 we will definitely evolve to a higher species for real absolutely oh, mm -hmm. yes and, and uh, if we're gonna go to if we're gonna visit you we're gonna go to your place how can, how can we do that uh well once COVID is over i please encourage everybody to to plan for 2022 or 2023 oh their 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 trip to peru uh, peru is an amazing country no, not only the Amazon rainforest, you have the Andes, her amazing culture, food, everything is, is it's amazing. And I, I can help you definitely to plan a sustainable travel. So you can not only come to beautiful, amazing, comfortable places, but and also places that make a difference in the local community and help. You're coming to a you're traveling in a way that how everybody should travel, right? So right. you can travel in luxury and luxury. If you do it right, if you're conscious, luxury gives back to the community and luxury gives back to the planet. Also, uh, it's, it's contacting me directly and seeing the possibility to, to plan a, a seven day trip, 10 day trip, because Peru is definitely a place to, to, to stay long, at least a week. And I, yeah. I definitely have alternatives to enjoy the different places. Machu Picchu, the Inca Empire is something that I also believe that many people have to come and, and energize. It, it's some say it's it's one of the well, it's a, they consider it the the belly bottom of the planet. Oh, and uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the Inca the Inca ruins also with the Aztec, the Mayan, the Egyptian, uh, and other um, pyra pyramidal um, con constructions by ancient civilizations. Uh, that they have truly energetic um, power because uh, exp how do we explain this? Uh, I guess metaphysical uh, energy, but they there is proven that they are uh, at an exact distance from each other. Then they're connected precisely with the 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 constellations on on space in, in space. No, and they have this this mathematical. No, it's like they had. It, it, it is like if they had had iPhones or or cell phones, and they were okay. Where are you gonna do your pyramid? Because I'm gonna do it here. Because yeah. you, that didn't yeah. happen. It's so precise how they are all interconnected at specific points on Earth that actually rises the energy of Earth. So I do encourage you to come among other amazing places in the world, to Peru. And to the Amazon rainforest, you know, Peru needs you to come visit. You're an amazing place where people from all over the world must connect with our energy. Oh, yeah, and, and also with, through travel and, and through other many options, I, I want to share with you also this amazing collaboration that I've done with a dear friend of mine from Australia. He uh, has uh, worked hard, and it's an amazing soul and heart. 
uh, that is helping the community on his side of the world. And we have connected. And this is something that I would love anybody who wants to participate with me and find ways to collaborate, please contact me as well. Uh, Mar uh, Mark has the embrace movement. This is a, 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 the idea that we humans must embrace each other, embrace our power, and embrace the love that we have as one species and reconnect with each other. You know, through whatever we do, embrace ourselves. And uh, we have collaborated for this uh, a campaign. He's uh, developed this uh, uh, mask to help us be safe in the case of people in problems with, with the COVID situation. We do need to, to kind of uh, either stay safe or, or prevent the weaker population to, to, to get uh, sick. We have to make sure for now, at least until things get better. You know, um, He's, we've collaborated to create a campaign to to embrace the Amazon through the 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 purchase of this mask that he's offering. Yeah, yeah. And your connection is getting getting a little bit cut off, so we can we couldn't hear the last part. But I was uh, for what I heard is you have somebody that you want to share. I can't uh, copy the link, so maybe you want to share on the comments later. Okay. I will, I will, I will send it in the comments then. Yeah, yes. because right now we're getting like, your connection is getting a little bit, um, um, you know, confused when you talk. Uh, l let's try again. <laughs> okay, well, um, I, I don't know how much uh, it was heard, but um, I, I wanted to share with you this amazing collaboration that I'm doing with a friend from Australia that is, uh, uh, that's in, in, created the Embrace Movement. It is an amazing concept to bring people together to embrace your power, to embrace your humanity, to embrace empathy. You know? and uh, he's uh, using the this uh, specific uh, um, style of, of mass with the concept of embracing to connect humans mm -hmm. that are working towards their spiritual and their the reconnection with each other and with our planet to make a difference. And there's a special edition of this mass called Embrace Amazonia or Abrazo Amazonia. And the purchase of, 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 if you purchase this mass, part of the money goes to help the projects we have here in, in the rainforest. Now, okay, so maybe, maybe later in the comments you can explain that. And uh, because really, the, I don't know why the connection is so cut off. I don't know if it's you or it's me, but you know, these things happen. So. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't worry about it. So I, I'm sharing on the screen this uh, website, Sandra, that AmazonPlanetPeru.com. That's your direct website, right? That is a directly, yeah, it's a landing page for to contact with me directly if you if anyone wants to schedule a call so we can just connect and interwine our hearts and, and find ways how we can help each other from the parts of the world we are, each each of us. And, and how, if you are interested in coming to the Amazon in the future or helping to, uh, with our projects or, or developing any connection, I think it's it's just to start you know, getting together, you know, and uh, no matter what part of the world you are, it, we are all humans and we can find ways to help each other from yeah. the distance. And, yeah, uh, and then, yeah, next year, um, uh, I'm gonna go and visit you and, and even we could even create a. Oh. We got cut off. I don't know. It might be my internet. Oh. Okay. Is it Sylvia that left? Then I'm here. Maybe I don't know. Just in case, I'm gonna. Uh, I, got, I got I got out. I don't know. They took me out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, I guess that um, we have Ivana Paz saying hello from Argentina. I guess um, it was, it's my actually uh, connection. Okay, but now okay. now I'm worry. back. Now I'm back. So I'm glad, I'm glad. so I was saying that definitely I I'm listening to you and I'm thinking about this um, this feminine energy. And because I felt it, I was in, in, in Peru. I love Peru. I, the food, oh my God, so good, so healthy. 
the people from Peru so nice and at the same time so proud of their origins. I love people from Peru. And and then also the feeling when you are there and, and you're in contact with the Pachamama. And I can only dream about being there with you and sharing this amazing energy with other women so they can wake up their feminine energy and even men too, you know, because like we were talking before, we all have both the feminine and the masculine. Of course, if you're a woman or you, uh, you describe, you define yourself as a woman, then your feminine energy will be stronger. But we all need to develop both energies, you know, yeah. both energies. And I think that all the definitions that we hear until now, they are not absolutely correct, but it doesn't matter. The thing is about, you know, being able to connect with what's inside of us. And also when you are over there, you know that you're part of the whole because you feel it, you feel it. So, okay, so people can find you in this website, Sandra at, yeah, Sandra dot Amazon Planet Peru. Any other I thing? Have, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, I, I, there you can see also my, my white sheet and, and connect uh, with, with this amazing other humans that I'm connected to that, that are definitely a hundred percent recommendation for you to, to explore uh, what they offer as well. And uh, I also, it also includes a, a, a gift card for, for you to, when you decide to travel to the Amazon, a, a little, yeah, a, a gift for, from me to you. Okay. So um, definitely get in there. Uh, download everything that is there to download. And if you want to educate yourself more about what can you do for the planet, he learn more so you can educate your family, your kids. This is the person that you need to contact. This Sandra, the person that right now you need to contact. Let me find, okay, this so we can see your name. Um, and if you are somebody that really loves animals and feel that that's your call, you can go and check this, tarikayaecoreserve.org. And, you know, go there because I'm sure you're going to leave your legacy and you're going to have the best time of your life. And also remember that you, are, that you, are, you and Pachamama are the same. So if anything you do and anything you do not do also has an impact in our home. So it's time to start getting into action. It's no more time to stay, you know, silent witness, seeing how we destroy our mother earth. So you got to take action. It's the same with your kids, right? Either if you don't do, or if you do, or you do, you're going to have an impact on their lives. This is exactly the same. You got to start taking action. And I'm not saying, you know, you stop doing everything. No, no, but, you know, being conscious about what you do, being conscious that every time, like um, small things and not that small, there's so many tutorials on YouTube everywhere that you can learn. So, you know, one day at a time, one action at a time, but you can definitely make a change. Remember, we are one and this Amazon planet is the place to find Sandra as well. And we have uh, the AmazonJelter.org. And, you know, so far so good. Please share this because this is not about your survival. It's about everybody's survival. So we can say that if we, you know, don't underestimate the power of one. Let me see because I need to change this. Don't underestimate your power. You are absolutely powerful. You So you can make a change. You. The power of one is so important because imagine, I have my power. I'm super powerful. Sandra, look at everything she is doing. She is super powerful. So you have the same power. So use your power to use love as your weapon and change the world. So, Sandra, thank you very much for being here. I really enjoy so much our conversation. And anything else that you want to leave or you want to share with our audience? Well, uh, Sylvia, uh, first of all, thank you so much for this opportunity uh, uh, to be with you here and with, with everybody that's listening to us. Thank you for, for tuning in and sharing this moment. I, I really love connecting with you i love your energy from the the moment we met i, I definitely felt felt the, the the amazing connection of our hearts and uh 
I just uh, want to leave with the message that uh, we, we are all one and I love you all here watching. I love you, Sylvia. I think we are afraid of saying I love you. you know, or we think it's only to the close people we are with, but just being alive, being together in this planet and uh, connecting our hearts, it's, it's, it's what we are here for as, as, as humans. Absolutely. So, <laughs> Please let's let's connect and and, and yeah and embrace the journey of, of of love, life, and spirit, and you yes. will find success and happiness. Yes, thank you very much. And the more you understand this, the more you understand that you're part of the whole and we are all one, the more the happier you're gonna be, the better, the more abundance you're gonna feel in your life. Because I can guarantee you that this is not about money, this is not about power is about love. So the more you share, the more you're going to get, you know, it's a, it's a win-win situation. So thank you, Sandra, for being here. And um, we'll talk again and we'll be in touch. Please be in touch with this amazing woman and learn. I, I'm learning so much about her. So maybe we'll go all together next year after this yes. uh, COVID is uh, kind of give us a break into Peru. Oh my goodness. I can only dream about it. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sylvia. And Thank I you love everybody. you. Of course, I don't have any problem to say I love you. And I love you all. You deserve love, deeply love. Okay, bye. Yeah. Thank you, Sandra. Thank bye -bye. you. I'll see you soon. Okay, so this has been everything for today. I really appreciate you coming into our home, the Queen Show. And please take care of Mama, Pachamama, our Mother Earth. This is your time. Love is the only answer. Love is your best weapon. And we're here to serve you, connect with us, share this um, um, episode because we, you, everybody needs to know what's in stake here. Everything's in stake. You really need to take ownership of your, your place, your home, and do something about it. Just get into action. Let's share the love and let's stay together because you, my friend, you are me. I'm you. And I love being you. So let's share the love and remember that you deserve to love deeply and be absolutely deeply loved shared and i'll see you soon bye